I'm going to show you now to drill some metal. Uh, quite a lot of people do struggle when they're drilling metal. Uh, the main thing to watch for is making sure you get the right drill bits. Uh, these, for example, are uh, only for, for use on metal. If you use these on wood, you're just going to blunt them straight away. The actual tip of the drill there is ground to a specific angle and it is designed to cut efficiently. So if that lip there starts going dull or if you lose the angle, it's not going to cut as efficiently. And another point to notice is a drill bit only ever cuts on the end there. It never actually cuts on the side there. That bit there is just to get rid of the waste material. So a drill bit only ever cuts on the end. That's a standard uh, high speed steel bit which you can use on basically any metal apart from iron steel it will struggle on iron steel or be almost impossible to go through. This bit is just the same as those only it's coated with uh, titanium which is supposed to make them last a bit longer and, and cut more effectively. And these bits are cobalt bits which are a very hard material and these can even be used on iron uh, steel such as if you're drilling out an iron bolt to an iron stud but eventually they will go blunt and they will need resharpening but cobalt is a very hard material it's one of the toughest drills you can get and then these drill bits are multi-construction bits that are supposed to go through metal or masonry or wood which I haven't actually tried yet so I will be trying them out at some point and giving them a good test. This particular drill is a, a sensor drill and it's what you'd use in metal working. If you were starting a, a, an all off on a lathe you'd use a sensor drill like that but it's also a very useful piece of kit to use in a pillar drill for starting a hole off. If you wanted to drill a, a large hole in metal, let's say something that size, you wouldn't start off with that drill because it, it'd be too big so what you do is make a pilot hole so that's where the small drill bits come in like this. So you just pop an hole through first with a, a small drill which is 2mm like that and then you can then progressively move up to larger drill bits or you could just go straight through with that one if it is sharp. It's essential to wear safety glasses or safety goggles when you're drilling metal because the swarf and the chips that come off there can quite easily fly in your eye and damage your eye so it's essential that you wear safety glasses. For larger holes in metal you'd use a, a hole saw with uh, an arbor and by using that you can cut quite big holes uh, in metal. Another point is all these drill bits that I'm showing you now are all designed to be used in a standard chuck so you can use them in any cordless drill or a pillar drill. When you get onto bigger sizes of a drill bit they normally come with a moist taper on the end and they can only be used in a machine that's actually got a moist taper on it. But most people at home doing a bit of DIY will just use standard uh, metal drill bits like this.